you're welcome to my channel uh, in this video we are going to be introducing auditing we are going to be looking at topic one which is introduction to auditing in our previous video we managed to look at the course outline we have seven topics in auditing so we shall start with topic one which is introduction to auditing uh, first of all i asked for your opinion like whether you like me showing my face when i'm teaching or me teaching behind the scenes please give me your opinion yeah i would love to decide on what's like i would love to do what's best for you yeah so we shall start by defining what an external audit is uh, external audit first of all auditing is an assurance service like you are giving someone assurance that what they did is right yeah if 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 what they did is right you give them assurance like you assure them you assure them that what they did is right that is auditing and if what they did is wrong you tell them yeah, so auditing is an assurance service carried out by the auditor. We said auditing is done by an auditor. To give an independent opinion, the opinion has to be independent when it's not influenced by anyone else. Yeah, so they give the opinion depending on themselves, like depending on the auditor. An independent opinion on financial statements of an entity. So they examine the financial statements. Financial statements, we have things like the income statement. We have the statement of financial position. We have the cash flow statement. We have the statement of changes in equity. Yeah, so an external audit is an assurance service carried out by an auditor to give an independent opinion on financial statements of an entity. Financial statements are prepared by the accountants or the internal auditors or the people within the organization. So when they prepare them, they hire an auditor from outside to come and examine those statements. So after the auditor examining, the auditor will give their opinion to the people in the company, will give their opinion to them so he will either tell he he will, he will either tell them that like the financial statements are free from material misstatements or the financial statements are not free from material misstatements so they hire an auditor to give them assurance to assure them yeah so that's the definition of an external audit an assurance service carried out by an auditor to give an independent opinion on financial statements of an entity. Then we have auditing. They are different things. We have external audit, then auditing. Auditing is the process. Yeah, so auditing is obtaining sufficient appropriate evidence on financial statements of an entity's accounting records and external sources. So auditing, it's all about getting evidence, like enough evidence, sufficient, appropriate evidence that word is important. Okay, those words are important. Those three, sufficient, appropriate evidence. You should get used to them in auditing because they're going to be frequent. Yeah, so... It is the process of obtaining sufficient appropriate evidence on financial statements of an entity, of an entity's accounting records and external sources. So that's the definition of auditing. Then an auditor, an auditor gives an independent opinion on financial statements in an audit report. An auditor is that person that gives the opinion on the financial statements and that opinion is given in an audit report after them examining and all that they're supposed to write a report yeah that's when they give their opinion then an audit report it provides assurance 
Yeah, because it's where they rate their opinion. In case the financial statements are free from material misstatements or for, they are free from error and fraud, the auditor will rate a report to assure the owners of the company that the financial statements are free from material misstatements. So an audit report provides assurance on whether the financial statements are free from material misstatements. Then an auditor must be competent and independent of the entity audited. Like when you're hiring an auditor, that auditor must be like independent. The auditor must not be related to the organization or anyone in the organization or anything. So they must be independent from the entity that they're auditing. Yeah, so that's the introduction to auditing. In the next video, we shall look at the difference between uh, auditing and accounting. Thanks for watching.